Hello friends! In this video I'll show you one of the most popular portable oscilloscopes, the main advantage of which is that this device is an oscilloscope and signal generator at the same time. Let's have a look. Here we have probe. This probe is for measurements. And this is for signal generator. A gift. The charger for the batteries, but batteries were not included. USB cable, with the help of which you can transfer the snapshots to the PC, and also you can charge the battery inside of this device from any USB source. Here we have only manual. I have found the manual in English, Chinese and Russian. And this is warranty card. Regarding the power supply of this device, it has no external power source and I have revealed that standard batteries 18650, like notebook batteries, cannot work here because the plus contact is flat. That's why I have put the metal strip of notebook battery here and now this contact is not flat. As to the second space, it's for the reserve battery. Because inside here we have no contact between these plus contacts and also we have no contact between these minus contacts. Let's turn on this device. Long press and in some seconds it turns on. Here we have battery level indicator, mode auto, well, this is time base, here we have 1 volt per division, DC offset, channel 2 is off, and here we have functions. In case of channel 1 we press channel 1, in case of channel 2 we press channel 2. Here we have channel status and all the functions 1, 2, 3 can be changed with the help of these buttons F1, F2 and F3. So display open means that the channel is on. In case of F1 now we have display closed. It means that the channel is off. Once again it's on. The probe is 1x in case we press F2. It's 10x and 100x. And here uh, the measurement will change. And coupling, you can change DC and AC. Well, the second pressing allows to measure the parameters. So here we have maximum value, minimum value, duty cycle if it's present and peak to peak level. Almost the same we have in case of channel 2 but the difference is that here we have no parameter number 2. Display close, let's press F1, now it's open now it's closed. We have no F2 and invert close in case of pressing F3 we have invert open. Let's close inversion. As to the button auto, if we press this button it will adjust the voltage. So it writes 40 volts, then 10 volts, then 5 volts, and 1 volt. So it tries to measure 
and adjust the screen to the optimal voltage. As to the button HORI, it means horizontal but it also has two modes. Here in horizontal mode we have three functions display close open, source this is source of syn synchronization and type voltage. So it means that we can turn on the markers here. In case of display open, here we have two red markers and we can make measurements in case of a signal. Let's turn on a sinusoidal signal from the same device. Okay, let's let it be square. So in horizontal by pressing of up down we can change the time base and in case we would like to measure a voltage we can go to the second mode of this button. Now we have horizontal and the second mode is cursor and in case we press this up and down we adjust this cursor and also we can adjust this red cursor and all the data we have here. Here we have the horizontal cursors. In case of vertical cursors we again should press the button HORI and here we have type voltage. Now we have time, type time. So in case of measurement of period we should adjust these red cursors. As to the button RUN if you would like to freeze the measurement and oscillogram, you just press this button and it freezes. To unfreeze, once again. Trigger mode can be changed here. So edge trigger we have here. Uh, by means of this function slope, you can change Rising and falling. Synchronization channel is channel 1. You can change it. Channel 2, channel 1. And T mode, trigger mode is auto, also normally and single. As you have already noticed in the mode horizontal, you can change the time base this way. and also you can move it to the left and to the right with the help of horizontal buttons. And as to the voltage, in case of channel 1, if we speak about the channel 1, here is vertical is sensitivity and horizontal so left and right change the position DC offset and also here we have the measurement of it the value now it's okay as to the menu button here we have waveform save so the function one is Ref A, Ref B, the F2 is source, channel 1, channel 2, Ref A is close and open. Also, on second press, set up display. This is backlight.
six values language English or Chinese only so it's Chinese and you should restart this device and this is English and also this device has two, two modes so the number two is color mode and number one is black and white once again color mode here we have set up low power sound close we have here and now it will have a sound let's press once again shut down never or maybe in 10 minutes in 30 minutes never and low light never 20 seconds 40 seconds 60 seconds 300 seconds never and let's once again press this button menu F1 we have nothing F2 is print screen mode so you can adjust picture 1 or picture 2 3 only six pictures can be saved to the internal memory which is uh, approximately six megabytes and if you use the USB cable you can transfer all these files to your PC and you should do it by pressing OK and then at the same time power and after that it will be switched on in flashcard mode and you will see the external drive in your PC and here we have a restore of factory settings and now let's check the signal generator F1 is frequency and the second pressing is offset F2 is waveform F3 is amplitude and once again is duty cycle let's adjust the frequency here in frequency mode we can change all the digits here for example let's adjust 500 Hertz to 0 then to 5 and let it be sine wave oscilloscope mode we move to hori horizontal sorry also we can move it to the left or to the right now let's change to 1 megahertz so for sine mode the maximum frequency is 5 megahertz and for the rest functions and rest waveforms the maximum is 1 megahertz okay oscilloscope mode so it's pretty decent now let's have a square waveform and duty cycle 40% okay for 1 megahertz I can say that it's not bad really not bad I really didn't expect such accuracy but for this price this device is really excellent now we have the probe on the second channel we move to second channel display close display open and here we have the signal If we would like to freeze it, we press run and see everything. 
after that and to unfreeze we press it again now we have the signal on the channel 1 but in case in the signal generator we choose waveform and sine wave and on the channel 1 we have the sine wave in case you switch your probe to the second channel please do not expect to get this analog signal on the channel 2 because the channel 2 is only digital and it has no common with the analog signals. I'll show you what will happen in case we apply the signal to the second channel. So we have diagram, we have digital diagram of this sinusoidal signal. So what can I conclude regarding this device? One of the main advantages is that the device is portable. It's not so big. Its weight is less than 400 grams. It can operate on one battery approximately within some hours. And according to the measurements it can really work with a frequency of 20 MHz and even more, approximately 22-23 MHz. And it's OK in this mode. As to the disadvantages, the second channel is not analog and the function which was available in the previous model, X, Y mode, is not available here. And you can change this digital mode to analog mode. The second disadvantage for some users may be the fact that this device has only buttons and they cannot rotate any potentiometer to adjust time base or voltage. But in my opinion, if you have the device which can operate on one battery within hours and which is portable and really does not require any AC source, and you have the possibility to go anywhere and measure anything below 20 MHz, this device is really excellent. Not to mention that besides its main mode oscilloscope, it also has the signal generator, the signal of which can be applied somewhere, and with the help of the same device you can measure and see without using another oscilloscope or something else. And in this connection, maybe the main advantage of this device is its price. Because for these two devices in one, and really not bad devices, the price is excellent. That's all for this review. In case of questions, please write them in comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Wish you good luck.